Let's get some trader talk from pro trader Alan Nachman, the chief market strategist at Paradigm. Hello to you, Alan. What do you think about the market action? Hello, Angie. Let's be quiet. Shh. Quiet markets. We're waking in the Fed's finale here with these terminal rates. And you know what they say, never sell a quiet market. Okay, we'll try to keep it quiet, but talk about the right place at the right time. Alan, you told us earlier about your setup in Weight Watchers, and then, wow, the company now getting into diet pills moved that stock. All right, this week was big. WW for winners. Weight Watchers had a big, big breakout bounce uh, here on Tuesday. It was a January 17th play. It was a textbook setup here. Uh, it was had leverage buying, what we look for, bullish divergence, and great risk reward. So we had our targets in place, which is another important factor in our success with this, is we had a 50% target in place and a 100% target for the second half, and both of those were triggered on Tuesday. Nice. What about your new trade? All right, let's talk this week's trade trigger. The stock is mosaic. It's been stuck between 40 and 60 for nine or 10 months now. So 50 is an important pivot point that we pushed above here. Now, that move above that level sets up for a surge to the $60 range top. Now, a breakout of this range targets 80, which was the level of 2022. I'm looking at a June option here, a June 50 call, which has over three months of time. Uh, it's trading around 750 with a stock at 55. Now, at 55, it's $5 in the money. It's got a high delta. And let's remember that $80 target is also the high of 2022. So if this stock just gets to 65, the option gains 100%. How about your trading day takeaways? All right, trading takeaway number one, baby bounce back. Now the dollar dove in 2022 went straight down from those multi-decade highs. Now we're seeing a modest bounce to watch because right now the rate destination is in sight. It's just a matter of how we get there. Do we get a 50 point hike in the next meeting and then 25 or are we done after that 50 points? Number two, pivot point. We had a pop above 4,000 in the S&P last week, looking positive, and then a drop down here this week. So we'll let the markets tell us what's next in this market move. And number three, nice twice. Looking at the VIX, the fear factor, the emotional market, it's been mainly below 20, which is half of what it was uh, at its high last year. But what I want to point out, it's still double the $10 level that we were not long ago. So there's more downside in the fear factor and more upside in the S&P. Always so good. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.